This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Meek Mill might have been born in North Philly and experienced the trenches, but that doesn't mean that he's tough, okay? There's a lot of soft people in the trenches. Have you ever seen First 48? There's plenty of those guys snitching on their friends. Meek Mill exposes himself this week for the umpteenth time, okay? Remember when he got into it with Takashi? He kept saying he was going to do this and that to Takashi, right? Oh, he's a clown. I'm going to do this to him and do that to him. As soon as Takashi pulls up on him, he, Takashi, goes as far to pull up on Meek Mill. Meek Mill folds like an accordion and hides behind his security and says, I can't believe he pulled up on me, man. He's trying to send me back to jail. And here's Meek Mill asking for academics to dress, saying he's going to shoot a video of like a nerd he is and piss on his steps. He's a geek. And, uh... It's out of your hands. I'll take it from there. And then he even says, I'll die to shut you down. He's basically threatening academics on live, on, right on Twitter. So guess what? He could, then he claims the governor told him to chill. Yeah, okay. Well, let's say the governor did. Then he told the governor, this guy academics got my friends killed, man. And that is, that is snitching. No matter how you cut it, it is snitching. Meek Mill, WAC 100 even co-signed that. I even said it earlier today in one of my videos. I said, Meek Mill is making a fool of himself because he's just showing how weak he is. Someone from the street's not going to go back and forth with a blogger? Come on, bro. You're going to go back and forth with, first of all, you're beefing with academics like he broke the story. This is a problem with Little Rod. Little Rod's the one that got you in a uh, in a case with Diddy, saying that you did weird stuff with Diddy. That ain't on academics. He's just reading it. It's corny and Meek Mill. I don't know, man. This might be it for him. There's nothing more. I don't know, man. There's, this is so weird. Claiming your street and doing all this. No wonder Jay-Z didn't want to do anything with him. <laughs> he's just a walking mess. I heard he's already going against Rick Ross. Rick Ross helped him out, helped him drop this album, even though it didn't sell that much. Rick Ross helped him out. Rick Ross bought his crib he couldn't sell for $4 million. Because that's how much Meek Mill needed to get out of that jam. Because he, he bought the house too high in Atlanta. Nobody even wanted it. And a hot market. So Rick Ross got him out of a jam because he couldn't afford it. Because you know what? Yeah, Meek Mill might have $20 million, right? But if you have 10 houses and you're paying mortgages on 10 houses, you'll go broke. So he needed to get rid of some assets. And Rick Ross helped him out. Point blank simple. And now he's going against Rick Ross again. Meek Mill's only loyal to himself. And honestly, man, as good of a rapper as he is, he's just, it's just, it's embarrassing at this point, bro. It's like, wow. All he can talk about the trenches, all he wants, doesn't make you tough. It's Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.